Hey guys, welcome back. I'm very giddy today. Welcome back. <laughs> you like my worm shirt? I'm a worm mom. Joe got it for me. And uh, I love it. It's absolutely adorable. But anyway, before anything, press that subscribe button and go find my other channel, The Composting Worm Lady, and uh, subscribe over there and share it with your friends and everything. I'd love to reach a thousand before Christmas. Um, so I have something to show you. Um, I'd like to thank Timu yet again. They have come through for me. <laughs> so if you notice down here, my wormery, I don't really have like a refrigerator or anything to keep any drinks in or let's just say I'm going to go fishing and I'm not using my own worms, right? Let's just say, um, I would get Canadian night crawlers, but they need refrigeration and I don't have anywhere to keep them down here and I don't want to put them upstairs in my my personal fridge. The only thing I have down here in the basement is a, a whole freezer and you know the bottom shelf of my freezer is where I keep my worm food, but I don't have anything down here. Plus, you know I love fashion, beauty, makeup, and hair. So do you like my lipstick today? Isn't it pretty? Timu sent me this. And I absolutely love it. Today I wore it to match my pink over here. But these darker colors, you know, I'm going to use those more in the fall. Even though, you know, I'm kind of the gothic type girl. I wear stuff like that all year. But um, I just love it. And it's six of them. And the price is unbelievable. And everything that I show you for Timo, I'm going to leave the links below. And uh, it helps me out. And you wouldn't believe you know, the prices on that website. Like I have found things that I'm like, what, is that the right price? Izzy got a portable washing machine the other day for signing up. She got the portable washing machine. I'm not kidding you for $5 and it is the cutest thing and it pops up and she's going to be moving in a few months and she doesn't know if she's going to have a washer where she goes. So at least here, she can do like a load of underwear or a load of socks. I don't know. But I'm dying to show you this refrigerator because I need one. I don't have anything down here. I have to run upstairs to get a drink. And, you know, so look, and I picked pink. They have them in other colors, but, you know, I like pink. Look how cute this is. Comes with the instructions and the plugins for it. But, you know, it's deep enough for me to put a couple of cans of whatever in here and a couple of water bottles. I can take this off and put water bottles that stand up. What I also like about this is, you know, you all know I love beauty. If, um, you know, I haven't looked on Timu for some of my face creams and serums I use, but I do have some um, serums that I use that need refrigeration because they act, they just work better when they're cold. And then I can pop them in here. So I just thought this is like, I mean, look at this. It's amazing. I love it. Thank you, Tibu, so much. Thank you. I love it. Definitely set it up and use it. And my daughters want to seal it. And I said no. <laughs> I said, go to Tibu and buy your own. <laughs> I'm creating a course that um, people will purchase and download on my website. My European night crawlers are doing great. You saw them in the last video. They are hopping with that pumpkin. And my Woodstock bin is doing great. And I'm actually, I want to show you Woodstock today because I had three um, pieces of wheatgrass that I grew. And I like to put it on the surface. And it's, guys, they're going crazy. So the wheatgrass uh, pad. Okay, this is what I want to talk to you about. I make my wheatgrass with castings, but I only put my wheatgrass, the ones that I've been, that I make in my woodstock bin because the castings could have cocoons in them that could be all the worms. So I'm not going to go and put that in my red wiggler bin because I want to maintain my red wigglers with only red wigglers. So I've been putting it in the woodstock and I'm going to show you what they're doing. The African night crawlers are going crazy over it. And um, we're going to do that. And see, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I want to show you that. I want to show you that. It's like I might break it up into two videos. <laughs> um, you know, I haven't had that much coffee today. And yet I'm talking my head off. 
But anyway, <laughs> I did take all my vitamins. So anyway, I think these shirts, Joe buys them on Amazon. I'm pretty sure I have some shirts linked in my, um, my Amazon store, or you can find them on my website too. So let's get that going. Anyway, thank you, Timu. <laughs> Let's check on the Woodstock bin. Now the Woodstock bin is a worm bin that has four different types of uh, worms in living in it. It has African night crawlers, European night crawlers, red wigglers, you know, senior fatida, and um, Louisiana swamp worms. As you can see, I already see like things going on in here. <laughs> so I put this wet box over it that I had spilled uh, coffee on. And I figured, why throw it out? You know, they can eat it. And look at them. You see, worms love that glue in between the boxes. They just, they just love it. Layered, they're going in between the layers of the boxes. And I can see the boxes already being eaten. Look at this. And I know it's the African night crawlers doing that. Oh my gosh, they're like shredding this. But look at the, um, this is the wheatgrass. Well, what's left of it? See, they go in between. They start climbing in it. Look at this. It's like it breaks apart. And I only put this in here a few days ago. And there, it's almost gone. Look at this. See how they, they even, I even noticed cocoons in it. So I think they're like nesting in here and it just falls apart. So if you want to do this with your, your red wigglers that are pure, just when you harvest your worms, get some castings from your red wigglers and then just plant the wheatgrass in there. Look, they're, they're just, they're, they're going nuts in here. Oh, look at that. Wow. And, you know, this wheatgrass stuff, I only put it on the surface because I notice that when I go like this to it, I feel a little warmth from it. And I don't want to take a chance burying it and then something happens and, you know, the whole thing heats up. But look at them. Another guy that I've seen do this is uh, Captain Matt. He does wheatgrass also. But, you know, you don't have to do this with wheatgrass. If you feel like doing this, like sprouting something, you can do it with bird seed, wild bird seed. You can do it with um, with just oats, like the one that I make my worm chow out of, the ones that you've seen in the video. That'll sprout. Anything that sprouts that you feel like sprouting, alfalfa, um, buckwheat. Buckwheat's another one that sprouts. You can do that. I just happen to have wheatgrass around the house so that's what I use and they're uh yeah they're loving it so I just leave it on the surface because you know you never know um I heard in the I my read in my comments in my last video about the European night crawlers that other people also noticed that they congregate in the corners um yeah I don't you know I don't know why they do that I'm thinking it's something with the moisture and the plastic and maybe even like the cool feeling of the plastic. Maybe they like it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you Woodstock and show you the wheatgrass. Let's um, let's put them back here. I'm gonna cover them up again. And they're doing great. They're like all over the place. Like I find some on this, in between, on the wheatgrass. You know, worms are like, another livestock when you're farming them um you can try to control them as much as you can but at the end of the day you know they're gonna do what they want <laughs> they just are and that's okay you just have to learn to adapt <laughs> all right so as you can see i have everything color coordinated here i'm coming up with my system and i'm filming it and it'll probably be available on my website but anyway, I want to show you, these are my breeders that I have set up. And these nine breeders 
These are the cocoons from the nine breeders. So these I harvest every 21 days. And these should hatch around May 14th, more or less, to May 21st. I always put the date, even though sometimes I do forget, because it's just easier to just glance and look at it. And the reason I did colors, it's because it's just easier to see. And I don't know about you all, but I personally am a visual learner and... I just learn more by actually seeing it. <laughs> so that's what uh, that's what I did today. So today, I already did these on Sunday. And these will be um, coming up soon. So today, I'm going to... I have to feed all these and water them and just check on them. So that's what I'm doing today. And I have chow available on my website, guys. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And press that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Take care.